So I just removed uh, one part of my toes and I'm going to remove it to show you that how that paper towel soaked, marinated in acetone works uh, without having a cotton ball here. I'm in a little trouble here. But it's really easy. You just wipe and don't worry about all this other dead skin when you you know, don't, there's nothing really to panic about nails, actually, because there's so much things that you solve. So, this is not something that you should panic at all. And the reason why I always have protective third layer of paper towel is that you don't damage any of your tub. This is my little toe. And you see, I would have gotten so much shorter if I didn't have my color there. You're going to eventually need a water to soak your cuticles and you're going to have it right here in your tub. A lot of nail techs love to cut corners here. You need to cut it straight so that you don't have the ingrown. An ingrown I have to say that you cure it, I cured it by just suffering, let the nails grow out. And it hurts, it's, I'm sorry, it's a bitch. It hurts a lot, but it's something that we have to deal with. So here, now I just removed my polish, and I'm gonna save this, and guess what? You could store this for as long as you want, but I'm gonna chop, I'm gonna tie this into when I um, finish application of my nail polish and all the colors and base coat, press coat, you know, base coat prep, base coat, top coat. I'm gonna just clean the rim of it. Now here I have a metal file, and then I don't. And if you don't wanna, you know, buy a nail file by us, that's fine. Like, I just love this little nail file. I, that's why we made it. And so it's the clipper. But you could, of course, use any drugstore brand and whatever you want. Uh, but it's important to just know that non metals like these are disposable. You have to discarded after each use. And I like to fry on my toenails or any nails for a fact that I do just, I shape it. I like to give a soft edge in the corners, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to cut the corners with nipper. And I know that it's hard to know where your straight corner is, but that's why the file is great because you give them a straight nail to give a perpendicular shape. And all this stuff is dead nails that my nail have overgrown and that's okay, we're going to deal with that soon. So if you want to see how I file without using the metal file, it's the same thing. And, and, and the truth is that you take the nail polish off, it's like seeing a whole other world that you want to know what your nails are about, whether it's healthy or not. And I normally, you know, like right now, it's really discolored. I will probably do a buffing for a couple of days just give them a rest because they did have a really high pigmented red nail polish coffee for eight weeks. It's a lot. That's a lot to ask. And what you could do is amazing thing is that you could do see the poodle toes and I'm sure I'm not the only one 
but this is what you could do is you could file it on top. You could file it on top of the metal file as well. I mean, it doesn't matter which file you use, you could file it and make it flat. And that's what I always do, try to make it flat. And some people prefer metal, some people don't. Uh, for me, it's all about how much you want to save, how much, you know, I mean, if you travel a lot, I think metal is great. Because I've never had, you know, anyone stop me from security. And you don't have to throw anything out. But this is kind of, you know, what I do. You file it in the front of it, on top of it. And all this like irregular shape that you see, I'm just gonna not be so crazy about it because this is what I saw with the color, the nail polish. And I always stop the colors. If you have this color to nail to buff. Now, if you have weak toenails, I know some people do, I wouldn't recommend this at all. You do, you just file gently, and you be very gentle. And stuff here. That is all the dead skin. And I'll show you how to get it all out. But you know if you cut your toenails like this low and start digging because you have ingrown, that's the agony you're gonna have cycle of vicious cycle. You have to let it all grow and heal. I'm gonna fill the tub. The slide chose to do pedicure here. Is that? You need to soak. I mean, manicure. I have mastered not doing with water. Pedicure is completely different because we only do it. I mean, I, I think in a ratio is about three to five times, right? So um, we do pedicure. Not as much as manicure, and it's kind of beautiful, so it's a little bit stubborn, but at the same time, not as much. So I'm, I'm putting some moisturizing, and it is, yes, I'm putting Lumiere and cream treatment. And if you want to do me grape, that's fine, but you know, this whole big tub lasts me seven months including winter days, and I think if you're doing pedicure at home or manicure at home, and I use both for the beautiful, if it works, it works. I think it's worth it. So I'm just gonna soak my feet here, and that's the beautiful part of being in a tub. And, and you don't have to soak too much. You don't have to use that much. It doesn't matter how long you soak or what happens. All I know is that I need to get into every nook and cranny to get all the dead skin out. And for me, that's an affirmation. And you know, it doesn't have to be La Mer. It could be any cream that you don't use. Or, I don't know, I've never... I still haven't found a foot cream that I think is like amazing. Uh, but right here, where all that dry skin and dead skin was, I'm going over it so that we get it all out. I'm so satisfying. But all that stuff. See, I could feel something in there. I'm not gonna fuss with it because it's just gonna have to grow out. And I love doing this on Saturday morning. Mornings like you 
was just it's a weekend and it's your time and you do your thing. Of course, now I realize I didn't get a lot of polish out of it, but that's okay. I'm going to have to go over it and clean it. But I do, however, I'm going to have to see if the shape is okay. Stuff here, all the callus and dead skin, and my poodle toe. I'm gonna, that's the thing, that's what comes out, and I wanna see that. And the less, more you do push your cuticles, the less you have to use the cuticle numbers, which is a friend and a foe. See what happens here. But I do have a lot of how just all the dead skin comes out. Now the reason why the tub is so awesome that you have like water near you and there's no way. I mean there was a lot of dry skin there. That's kind of you know unpleasant to deal with. And I could see right now that I have more cuticle surgery going on on my baby toes because I wear heels. But I could just not re-soak. I could just do this and comes the other toe and I soak my three sheet towels and I do what I do. This is going to be a problem and this is always Right here, it's always a surgical moment for me, and it sometimes bleeds. And I would never only trust myself, but no one else to do that surgery. And all the cuticles here, when you go to professional salon, the girls love, love, love cutting your cuticles. And you should, there's nothing to cut really, because you really need your cuticles to protect your nail root and it's all being kind of coming out right like like it's it's right all there and this is a cuticle you shouldn't cut everything off and even I haven't I mean it's been eight weeks I've done this pedicure and um, it still looks awesome right my cuticle is in great shape if you take care of it and I'm taking care of like even the dead skin callus here, which we'll go over later. I mean, this one used to be so sad. She's thriving. I love seeing that. And everyone should have a project like that. Like, it shouldn't just be, you know, like you have to make a lot of things better. When I, you know, when you paint, that's just painting or polish, it's just makeup. You really need to healthy. Like if I buff this toe, this pedicure right now, it'll look amazing. And that's just the dead skin that I'm going to the crevice, which is what makes you painful in winter with boot season. All of these corners, you have to get all this stuff out. And it's just that skin is not like to be gross about. It's just part of your body. I, mean, I, I, don't, I never understood so much I can't touch my toes because that's just crazy. This is a cuticle trimming. And now I'm going to figure out. And when you see, this, I'm going to go through it again now. And there's really nothing for me to trim. I don't remember. But I do have stuff coming out underneath the dead skin. Which is great. So that's what hurts us the most. And this is the most important part for us to paint.
my crusade. And this is a cuticle here right now that's covering. So I'm going to have to really manipulate. That's been covering my nails the whole entire cuticle. It's amazing how long it I mean, it doesn't look like it's even at all, but... That's my benchmark. The reason why I do my clipping and filing doing the with the nail polish on, even though it's old, to know that this is a good shape. I don't feel weird about it at all. I just, I'm just gonna smooth the edges. And I'm probably gonna have to take some of the polishes off. And, and, and you know, this is all coming off. But not so much that I feel like this if you file too much, it'll come off and it'll fall apart and I don't want it that way and they come along. And that's really good because the cuticle all looks great because I'm just going to give another rinse and there's nothing sticking out, nothing alerting. And something like this, you're going to exfoliate, like there's a little callus feeling over here because I trimmed it because it was too long but that will be our next thing to exfoliate and that will be fun and gross too.